uh, good afternoon everyone uh, i professor parag rahul on behalf of anjuman islam skalsekar technical campus uh, welcomes each and every one of you uh, under the in uh, institutional innovation camp council of aiktc we always invite inviting people to share uh, their stories and interact with our students today we have uh, one such personality with us uh, who is young talented and passionate about his startup uh, we welcome you uh, mr mayuresh lotlikar uh, i would i also like to welcome uh, dr abdul Raza, abdul azak khonuragi director aiktc also uh, like to welcome dr mujib tamboli iqc coordinator uh, dr firoz khan convener of iic uh, deans and hods of respective schools and uh, departments but before we start before we start uh, uh, today's session as uh, as a part of tradition of uh, aiktc let us begin the session by listening verses of uh, holy quran by shabil over to you shabil مرسیفل لکنود ربی <تصفيق> so its translation is by the racers painting and the producers of sparks when striking and the chargers at down steering up thereby clouds of dust arriving thereby in the center collectively indeed mankind to his lord is ungrateful and indeed he is to that witness and indeed he is in love of wealth and intent but does he not know that when the contents of the graves are scattered and that within the breast is obtained indeed the lord with them that day is fully aware sadaqallahul azim uh thank you shabil uh now i request uh, dr abdul razak khanitagi uh, director aiktc uh, to deliver the opening remarks over to you sir thank you professor parag dr firoz uh, dr mujib tambole and all deans hods faculty members who are attending this and even uh, the most interested students uh, who are basically attending this uh, motivational session by a motivated personality who has already uh, proved by setting uh his venture you know very interesting you and we works you know so it is very interesting uh, uh, uh startup of mr mayuresh uh, lotlikar and uh, i am also personally interested to know about all those intricacies what uh, did he go through to make it uh, a successful venture so uh, these kind of activities in the morning also i expressed my views uh, that uh, uh 
institutions innovation council has been set up under the auspices of mhrd which was earlier mhrd now its ministry of education uh, and another ministry called ministry of innovation council now in order to uh, promote in order to motivate guide support fund the young you know uh, young minds especially who are very keen to take up uh, the startup business or uh, uh, entrepreneurial uh, endeavor so such candidates are to be properly guided properly supported that is what uh, the motto of government of india now there are a number of ways of doing this and one of the ways is to have this uh, you know institute innovation council where a systematic approach has been put forward so under the guidance of ministry there is a calendar defined and all these calendar activities uh, choices are given what are expected to be conducted and based on conducting various activities we get certain points and then ultimately leading to some recognition even at the institution level but more than institution getting recognition rewards in terms of stars or pointers now for us what is important is whether it can help our students fraternity who are actually i mean struggling not only our institute but many institution students are struggling in terms of finding job now the jobs are <coughs> a scarcity and at the same time the challenge is to create jobs so both are you know equally challenging so at least those candidates who are not bent uh, their mind to towards working under someone so what is important for them is to take up some uh, you know venture using which they can create jobs and for creating jobs it is not just uh, you know a, a very easy you know path to move on but there are a lot of challenges lot of risk got to be taken but without challenges without struggle without taking risk you will never become stronger okay it is already known that a person who is always living on a soft bed and he never placed his foot without that soft you know uh, slippers or so but if such a person is asked to walk just on a uh, a floor having smooth tiles there also he feels like uh, uh, thorns he feels some kind of pain so because he is never allowed to struggle he is never allowed to put his uh, uh, say empty foot on ground so therefore naturally everything will become a painful activity so therefore uh, everybody is expected to struggle whether to get a job or to create jobs by be by being uh, the entrepreneurs so struggling is a part of our life no matter whether you struggle in the beginning of your life or struggle in the later part of your life so those who struggle in the beginning they are treated to be the wise persons and that is right decision because in the initial part of our life we are strong both physically mentally emotionally and we are likely to get lot of i mean support from even external sources and that time struggling has a meaning the moment when we struggle in this initial part very properly said that if you struggle up to 30 then rest of life you can really remain comfortable but if you remain comfortable till 30 the whole life is to struggle and struggling in the later part of life is a foolish decision because in the later part we are not that strong physically maybe we are knowledgeable but that will not work because knowledge unless put into practice has no meaning so therefore the purpose of this kind of uh, motivational talks is to make sure under, uh, students understand that <coughs> how important 
these kind of momentaries. So that is the reason why we are inviting persons who have already proved their metal, like Mayuresh, when you interact with him, you'll come to know his struggle. And the same way you can also struggle, you also prove your worth. That is the purpose for which we arrange this IIC program. So I welcome all of you to this program and uh, I will also join, I will also try to understand from Ayuresh. Welcome Ayuresh and all the team, all the students to this program. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, you are always, uh, your words always motivates us. So now uh, moving ahead, uh, I would like to now uh, introduce you to uh, today's speaker, uh, Mr. Mayuresh uh, Lotlikar. So uh, Mayuresh completed his study in law, uh, specializing in intellectual property law. His interest in t-shirt printing, art and creative field lead him to an idea of his startup UNV Works during his college time. In 2017, he founded uh, Scratch Notes uh, to boost hard crafted, uh, handcrafted stationary products. In 2018, he started a travel stream, Let's Start Adventures, where he arranges treks and offbeat uh, travel experiences. In, in 2019, he launched uh, India's very first portable miniature pottery tool, TRNB, uh, creating new things, traveling, and uh, expanding scope beyond stereotypes uh, interest him uh, the most. Uh, so now uh, 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 we welcome uh, Mayuresh and invite him uh, to give his talk and interact with students. Over to you, Mayuresh. Namaskar. Uh, thank you so much, uh, AIKTC, IIC, and IITC for giving this opportunity. Thank you so much, Razak sir. And Parag for uh, a wide introduction of the program and myself as well. So uh, here it is, we are going to talk about, I guess, uh, about the innovations and the challenges that entrepreneurs face. Uh, I don't want to remark with that I have done something huge, but whatever we have done or whatever we have accomplished today, we would really like to share with you. So before sharing what we have uh, and how we uh, started UNV Works, how we founded UNV Works, and then we uh, struggled to create our own product, which then become India's very first portable pottery equipment. So uh, before that, so let's have a demo of that product itself, so that you will get to know and you will have a kind of interest or kind of questions that will pop up in your head so that you can ask. And let's try to make it interactive. If you could ask a couple of questions, then I'll be more uh, uh, inclined towards uh, answering your questions. So uh, here is uh, the TRNV basically. Uh, it is why it is called TRNV. It's like it was a turning point, turning point of our startup itself. So that's the reason it is called turning wheel or a TRNV. That's what we call. And uh, let me just try and show you what kind of act, uh, outputs that you can get through this. And uh, Parag sir, am I audible? Uh, yes, yes, you're audible. Okay. It's a speed controller at the left side of this uh, equipment. And uh, this is a wheel or wheel in the pottery concept. You can call it as a wheel uh, or we simply call it a disc. Uh, and then this is a terracotta mud play usually available everywhere. So now I'm, now I'm trying to uh, center this play right now so that I can shape it later on.
centering is the most hard part at the start itself once you center then it becomes easy or uh, usually uh, agar aap pehli baar pottery agar try kar rahe ho so it takes at least a week to get accustomed with the process so thoda clay is clay is kind of a part which will not let you shape uh it very easily so you have to be steady in the start itself it will be a bit wobble and then eventually it start centering let me tell you one fact that when we invented this machine uh, i thought it's going to be easy and then i'll, I'll be able to take out the output as easy as possible but it really uh, took a while to get accustomed with it and finally master the craft so right now i'm just doing a basic shape and the collar so that's all uh, it's that easy it seems that easy actually but at the start itself we could just let me show you a couple of pieces that we created like this were the initial uh, try outs that we tried to make pots out of this and it's not that easy so uh, let me tell you a story a simple story uh, because lot of time people ask me this question how you came up with the pottery machine or uh, it's not even even your forte you have studied law Uh, how come you uh, went into such kind of startup so uh, let me tell you a short story that says that uh, way back when we were kids our parents took us for the kalagoda festival that time kalagoda festival was not that commercialized so we went there and uh, we saw that pottery guy over there and 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 we tried out that uh, pottery thing with a bigger wheel and uh, and it was so peaceful like he held our hand and with the mud we could create some small pots i guess that was a first uh, pottery imprint uh, for us and that stood with us but after that nothing actually could happen uh, much of that and when i was in the college uh, when i was in college in 2014 i got a call from one of my cousin asking about have you read that book called uh, uh how i braved anwanti and co-founded million dollar company well uh, that book is really nice you you can read about it it is uh, authored by uh, varun agarwal and it's very inspiring story so he asked me uh, uh kya hum log kuch merchandise ke liye kar sakte hai kya so i said i was had i had a peculiar interest about uh, you know screen printing and t-shirt printing that time so i said yeah i have tried out a couple of things so let's let's begin with it 
and then we both jumped in and me and Akshay just started this company called You and We Works. You and We Works simply means that when you and we come together, it works. So initially it was about money, but then then eventually it become about the vision, that vision that we really look after. Uh, that vision says that if, if you are doing something new, if you're doing something innovative, then that is going to last forever. Then just, uh, you know, uh, print t-shirt is not our own product, right? Like we, we print that t-shirt, that is true, but it is not something that is newly made. It is available. We print those and we send. And Gordon must have had those prints as well. Uh, that, that was a complicated uh, design that we printed and we really loved it. But uh, eventually we started falling short of this thing that this is not something for about money. This is something way beyond it. So we need to have something of our own. Uh, so in 2017, while I was working, let me, Para, uh, uh, can I sh uh, share my screen? Uh, yes, yes, you can share the screen. So while I was working in a, a UNV Works workshop in Versailles, uh, I used to play with the grinder. I, I, I used to do a lot of good work over there. And that's the one picture that I was using a grinder. I had no uh, particular uh, uh, experience in using, but that's, that's in 2017 when we actually started using power drills and power machines. Uh, this is our workshop basically. So where we used to do all our trial and errors, or you can say research and development. Uh, eventually, eventually in 2017, uh, in 2017, when when there was a time that something clicked into my head, and is I I feel it's just because of that uh, early age imprint of pottery, and I called Melinda, probably one of my cousin who is who is really innovative. He is a one of the DIY inventors at P. Uh, and I called him, I said, Linda, uh, uh, help Kershil come pottery machine banwala. Can you help me create? And best question that he asked, why you want to do that? He said, it's, it seems very peaceful. I just want to try out and uh, just, just I want to make it for myself and nothing else. And he said, yes. When he said yes, I got so excited that uh, now he's putting in the effort. I don't have any technical knowledge of it. Uh, rather, I have asked stupidest question about current voltage and torque later on. But, uh, and later on also I understood about those techniques, but that moment I had no clue. So I said, you handle the part, I'll dump in whatever material you want, whatever uh, funding that you need, I'll put into it, but you just make sure that you make it. <laughs> and uh, so I got so excited and I went uh, went to my nanny's place and I, I took a wooden plank and two pillars of wooden, wooden uh, small pieces of wooden. I placed one coaster. Uh, I drilled that coaster. I mounted some robotics motor. If engineering guys are there, they must be knowing the robotics motor that is 300, 300 RPM motor that you usually use for RCs. That exactly what I mounted over there. It, it is a bit not, not noisy and it does not provide that much of torque that required and the shaft is pretty much wobbly. So, but still for a start, it was really nice. So I had no disc or wheel at that time. So what possibly I can mount over the shaft was a wheel of RC car. So I picked up uh, that RC car wheel and mounted on the shaft. And, and then, you know, to be very frank, uh, as that time we just did with whatever material available. So there was no battery backup. So I used a laptop charger, connected positive, negative, and then started uh, started the motor. Uh, I was pretty, pretty, uh, but I tried uh, tried to create some pod out of it, and it didn't create the best one. But definitely, but definitely, uh, it was it was uh, it was worth the shot. I immediately clicked the photos and sent it to Milan, and uh, I said, "This is what exactly want we want to do." and you just start working on it. Meanwhile, I also went to Comic-Con. I used to work for, work for Comic-Con as a volunteer for four years. And also UNV Works work was happening, the badges, the t-shirt printing, the obstacle race that we always every year organized due to COVID, we couldn't. But before that, we used to organize those events. 
and that was a lot of thing happened so i missed out complete follow up of that product and uh, and uh, then it was like 2018 nothing happened and then 2019 pujadla something uh, that nothing happened till 2019 as well so uh, why uh, just going to his place uh, i started you know uh, you know complaining about it you didn't help me milen you didn't help me you didn't uh, help me create portal machine i want portal machine can you help me out of it and what is significant over that meet is that there was another cousin standing next to him named devrath patel i tell you without devrath it wouldn't be possible seriously and he said tula nakki banwa is a guy and i said i want to have a portal machine and uh, i can i don't want to purchase it i want to make my own uh, for myself and uh, eventually i clicked something i said chota ban chale chota bhi chalega i don't want to uh, make bigger one uh, even a smaller one is fine for me that time portability charging anything not in head completely out of the plan and he said uh, we can make this and so after that a single hope I, i would just say if if you have a single hope possible to catch a uh, ray of hope is uh, possible to catch just grab it positive signs together uh, there are all negatives around you and only way to grab a good opportunity is to whatever you have just grab it and go ahead with it but i didn't do that that's true so i went back home in washi and after three days i got a call from unknown number and i said uh, hello and he said devrath the who devrath like are you your cousin we met earlier ha ha ah, right right tell me so he said ki uh, what what do you uh, managed to get ahead did you order motor did you uh, get the bills and everything i said uh, no I, i i didn't process i just thought you were just pulling around and he said no no just do it it's a good thing and <laughs> and so uh, the best thing best thing one could ever do to get a uh, trial and run products is to get it from a neighboring country that time we were not in war uh, with neighboring country and not even the pandemic was there so you can eventually engineer people know that you can eventually order from alibaba and aliexpress so we started ordering couple of motors circuits and everything and trust me after 30 odd motors or 30 odd circuits Uh, we just couldn't make the best thing out of it. it it just couldn't run and it was it was not disappointing that time because we were still in that hopefulness and energy getting everything aligned uh, so it's it's like uh, you are getting up every day and saying it's a new day process it it will happen it will happen it will happen it's not that like we are not getting the best result but we are not getting the satisfactory result one thing that you learn from apple is that they and especially from steve jobs philosophy is that when you are creating product or anything just think that you are creating it for yourself so if you are unless you are not creating it yours for yourself you are not going to make it better or best for yourself uh, there is no one aapke aap pe koi bhi aisa nahi hai jo chahega ki mere paas thoda khara product rahega to mere liye chalega nahi hota hai so you want the best one you want the utility base you want artistry base something with you and that's the reason apple is successful and that's the, that's the reason i would suggest that why it's it's not a great product i, I won't say that it's best product in the world but whatever we have created it stands up to our uh, standards and that's the reason we opted that philosophy that philosophy is that keep jo bhi bana rahe hain uske liye best bana so so we were not getting that much of result but we were not happy as well so we started more uh, more our research and we contacted for the first circuit that we wanted to have is to run motor charge the battery and also turn on and off the machine so we called uh, a person named rohan bukane and we asked him to create a circuit so after a couple of again this is a timeline which is limitless it is going for weeks weeks and even for a month so after a month we got a circuit and that circuit again did not seem to stand up to our uh, standards but but it also gave us a opportunity to understand what we really want so the circuit was like there was a knob for a charging there was a switch to turn on and off 
and there was also a channel for charging. So this tool will make complicated combination for a user or anyone, anyone, absolutely anyone. While I'm using, I don't want to use this, this and that. I'm not uh, doing that. So I just want a single connector or a single regulator where I can turn on or off. The simple example is your ceiling fan. There is a regulator, it turns on, it turns off as well, and also regulates the speed. That exact thing we opted for this thing. And so we again started our research and then Shreyas Asrekar came into picture. We started, he seemed very much into circuitry and all the electronics. He made his own power bank at that time in 2017 or 18, I guess. So, uh, sorry, 19 and 19 around. So I called him and I said, can you make this happen? Like, this is what I want. So again, he asked, what do you want to make? I said, this is exactly what I want to make. I was pretty skeptical about sharing the project because yes, it's true that we wanted to be in India's very first. And, or I just wanted, uh, uh, by the time I, we figured out it's not just for us, it, it might go beyond. So we started saying that if it is going beyond, we should be the first one to do that. So uh, I called uh, Shreyas and Shreyas agreed to create a couple of the circuits. So he started working, Ron started working, Devra started working, me started working, meanwhile, Milin also started working. And the circuit was getting ready day by day. Again, it's monthly basis. Uh, okay, before I move on to other, other story, uh, are we attentive, are we, uh, are we here? Are you listening? Is it interesting or it's a bit boring? Should I take it into a technicality right away? But I want you to... No, I think you can uh, continue. There is no issue. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I, I hope everyone is comfortable. Uh, I hope it adds yes, value yes. to you. Yes, yes. Yeah, obviously, uh, it's about your story, so you can narrate it your way. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, moving on to this circuit circuit was uh, circuit was getting ready. Meanwhile, we were bringing in the motors for us and finding the right motor which can produce the right torque to handle whatever pressures that applied during centering. Especially centering is the main crucial part where the pressure gets applied the most. Uh, the third part was to get the best power, uh, power source for this uh, purpose, which was then sorted by Shreyas eventually. We suggested a couple of batteries that we can use. And so we opted for that. And the fourth part was the wheel. The wheel, uh, well, uh, there was not, a kind of a product that available. First thing we saw in the market that what can match our requirement. The best part was pulley, and so that we can uh, furnish it, finish it, like you know, cut the pulley at the point where it can become a disc like this, and we can start using it. But due to our shaft size and other uh, and lack of technicalities, I guess I feel or market research. I totally agree to that. I am not going to miss on that. So uh, we we had to dig more and more. So we went to a couple of industries asking this. At that time we had no prototype as such. So we showed like this is wheel and this is on paper or something. And he said, oh, sakta hai, lekin bol nahi sakte, So uh, we were not sure that he will be able to make it. So we went on to one, another, another, another. And finally, we could find Anthony Uncle who said, yes, I can. Uh, what, uh, what depth you want, what size of a shaft you want, what kind of uh, the diameter that you want. Seriously, I'm telling you, I didn't know about OD and ID that time. Seriously, I got to know about that OD and ID, uh, inner diameter, outer diameter, while talking to Anthony. Uh, Anthony Uncle, and then he said, yes, we'll make it. Yes. Now, once he said yes, he said, get the material. So we had no clue where to get material. So we started roaming around. We couldn't find the best thing. I even searched for uh, Taroja. I even went to Mumbai, and then finally we went to Vasai as well. So during that period, we couldn't get that right material. And then we finally opted for MS material, uh, which uh, one of the uh, one of the uncle agreed to cut for in a circular uh, circular um, uh, cut, circular 
dimension for it. Circular shape, exactly circular shape, and uh, give it to us. So he gave us uh, a kind of a raw material, circular shape material, and we gave it to Antony Anker and said, now just go ahead and do it. He said, okay. It took him months to create that disk. So while disk is getting ready, circuit is getting ready, motors are coming in, we started searching for the casing. Why casing was really important is that everything what fits inside is not being looked by anyone or used by anyone. Whatever is the lookout outside and you need to have a great feel to it, a great shape to it. And we agreed upon doing a, a cube shape. That is true that we couldn't do the cube shape later on because of uh, there, there was a lot of space inside so that we we wanted to make it compact. So we utilized that space and shrink it to a rectangular shape uh, casing. So, but the major part is how we got, how we, how we get it done from someone where when the product is not even made anywhere. So the immediate choice, again, we started searching what is in the market. So we searched for uh, something that is rectangular, something that is uh, like metal sheet punched inside so that making a square or a rectangular shape that we want and whichever depth we want. The best example is junction box. So we went to see in the industry where a junction box are created and a junction box uh, particularly has a punch and everything, but they also have holes so that the wires can go inside. Function, uh, junction box mostly used in electric uh, electric combinations, uh, I mean, electric mounting basically for a concealed electric mounting. So we went there and we asked that guy, uh, can you make this, this is what we want. He said, uh, okay, fine. So next day again, we went there. We asked him, uh, can you make this? This is what exactly we want. Yes, yes, definitely. We, I, I will make this product, but it will take at least a month and you have to purchase around thousand of them. Like thousand So I said, like, uh, I just want to make one. Can you just make one for us? No, no, no. Not one is not possible. Go. So we went to another person. He rejected. He rejected. Rejected. A lot of people rejected. Even we went to some uh, some guy who designs it in 3D and then get it cut by laser and then punch and then make the box out of it. So we went there and he, he asked us, what do you want to make? Like, this is the dimension. This is the box that we want to make. Could you just help us? So he said, yes, it will cost you 10,000 rupees for designing and another for each box, it will cost you 1,000 rupees. It was literally out of the budget because it is not a reasonable or a viable a uh, negotiation or viable deal for us to do that box thing in at just heavier price, higher price. So a couple of months back, we also tried one more person, but that person was really rude to his employee while creating our box. And I just couldn't handle it. I mean, how can you be good with your employee? I mean, I totally agree. It's kind of emotional or sensitive point, but I didn't like the way he approached his uh, employee. And so the reason we didn't opted that person who initially made the initial box of it. So we were searching for other people. I tell you, that was uh, the day when we got the most rejection ever. And uh, I, I, I asked Devra that now there's no option. We have to go that person, the root person basically, and get this project done or is this project will last because everything is lining up and now we don't have option. He said, okay, fine. If you believe that this is going to work, let's go. It's expensive, it's good, but we have to think it's good. Then let's, it's your project, so let's go. So while riding the Akiva on a turn, while going towards a workshop, I somehow stopped my Akiva. I uh, got down and I just, started saying that how on earth this is not possible how on earth this is not possible this is not rocket science this is a simple box i know it needs technicality but why people are saying no to it why they can't just make one for us and it's really troubling how how a startup is going to go ahead uh, like this how an idea can be processed when there is so much of rejection uh,
I was put past there and I started crying. I started crying that there's no hope left and we are going to that person just because we don't have option. And that is the last thing that I ever want to do because we don't have option. Um, and while I was crying, I, I suddenly Devrat came and said, I think we have one more person uh, who does all this alag cheese, the crazy stuff. So uh, he said, we can just try and ask him. I'm like, where he is? And he's like, he's in our village only. So we ride like 16 uh, kilometers again back to our village and search for that person. And uh, I tell you, that's that's what I'm telling you. If you have a single ray of hope, just grab it and go. You don't, you will never, ever, you will never know what is going to happen ahead. When there, I asked him, like, you know, it was, he was a welder, you know. Later on, I came to know that he is GLC dropout, government law college dropout. But before that, I didn't know. So I asked him, uh, can you make this? And like, what do you want? Like, this is a box. And do you have a place for a metal sheet to place? Like, he showed me a finger and he showed me uh, some uh, equipment uh, with his finger and said, this is, I said, if this is like manual place, how how it is going to work? I have seen, that time I have seen all the hydraulic places. In that, so I was not, I was skeptical about it. So I again asked one more question. Do we have a chapa? The so chapa is a portion which bends the uh, sheet of a patra, sheet of a uh, metal. And uh, he said, yes, he again showed me that. And I picked it up. I have the picture. This is exactly we want. This is exact dimension, like four inch by four inch something that we want to have. And he said, yes, so I can only make if you come and join with me and then only you can assist me, then only we, I'm going to make it. So I said, yes, finally, finally we got a person who can make box for us. And uh, let me share my screen with you. So after this, something like this happened. And then I started assisting him uh, with, this is the box that we trained. Uh, okay, meanwhile, you can't just keep on working. This is, this is the paramoting that we did. This is Charlie painted by my brother you know, and my nanny's house was getting reconstructed. That time I was doing PR and V. Uh, these are the boxes. Yeah. These are the boxes. Uh, so no one takes genius idea seriously. It's very true. No one takes genius idea seriously unless and until it is made. So people will ask you, especially my relatives used to ask you, hey, kai, kopada bano lai, box bano lai, kadhi hona to the project? When your project is going to happen? Like, so I don't used to say much of things. This is something from Comic Con. Okay. Uh, yes, I I'll, I'll show you that picture again. So these are the uh, this this is how we started. I, finally, we could uh, procure the best box possible. So when the box is ready, uh, you can just start mounting it, right? start just mounting uh, on your product, right? So we ordered 20 odd, uh, 20 odd uh, motors and then uh, tried to fix into the box. And let me tell you, it just didn't work. There were like 20 odd uh, motors lying on the floor. And I was just thinking, what just happened? This motor we tested and it's not working right now. So, uh, so finally we started <laughs> research once again. So to get the right box, um, and we could find one. So uh, while uh, searching for this, uh, while the box was ready and the motor was uh, motor was getting uh, uh, coming to our place, the right motor, uh, this box was ready. So I had to polish those metal boxes before it can get painted. This is the first box that you can see of PRNB, and that's exactly which box is here with me. This is the first version of PRNB which we created, and um, and then this incident happened. I missed a shot and grinder ne mera haat ko pura kar diya. Uh, and uh, and uh, yes, so this is what exactly happened. Uh, I was in a bit of a pain, and then I have to go washi. I, I tell you, I have to go washi so that uh, we host ex my country exhibition every year. So uh, in order to help my dad, I had to reach Washi that time. So with that hand, I drive to my house and 
with that single yellow box with me and just before we, we just thought that we will launch this product uh, uh we, we will just launch this product in a ganpati festival and uh, ganpati exhibition and uh, we will having like 1200 crowd radially uh, radially available so i called one of my friend vivek mishra and i said and i proudly said seriously i don't feel like saying proud that word irfan khan once said when you say you are proud of something you will neglect all that you have achieved or it's been done by you so don't i i generally don't prefer to say but i was like this box i mean uh, there was a team with me and we finally could accomplish what we really wanted and he saw this box and he said what are the outputs that you have so i showed him a couple of outputs that time like this to see and a smaller one that time and uh, he said uh, is not kind of output that people are going to prefer so you have to have uh, the great outputs like this these are the kind of good outputs that i could procure later on so not i could make later on so vivek stopped the launch and it took us one more year uh i i also called um, a pawan to uh, as he has done a, a pottery initially so i asked him is am i going wrong with the pottery or am i just not able to make because uh, this wheel is just wobbly the wheel was not wobbly i tell you a fact that before as i said before that once the machine is ready i was pretty confident that i'll be able to make this output uh this part and i was so wrong i was so wrong and uh, and then i had practiced and then we could achieve the great output out of it and that's the whole story about the launch and then again we launched with this thing this is the launch photo that appeared on all the social media by saying that and this is the same box that we launched yeah that's the last one uh this uh, and after after gun after the launch uh, we uh, we went for a uh, this exhibition in vasai vasai trade fair exhibition where devrat uh, said to me that people are just going to look at your box and say that khup chan banavla hai mast hai and nobody is going to buy so i said even though people are not going to buy it's okay we had to tweak we made a couple of boxes because there there was no one in industry to make one for us so we had to tweak this and finally we i am satisfied that i have one box whatever the investment is it doesn't matter right now for me and it's okay it seems worth so this is the kind of exhibition and i i was so happy that people were enjoying not just kids but even even the elderly ones she, she came from mulun and she attended a, this workshop and it was really nice this is this is the final product you could get Ah, huh. this is uh, Santosh Vasekar sir. This is where I we used to work. This is where the first PRNV is made. Uh, he is a really generous person and really helped me out of this. Ah, uh, this is a this is in Haridwar near uh, uh, Ganga Banks when we we wanted to tell everyone that this is portable. This can be carried carried anywhere, and this is so so the reason to make sure that everyone. knows that we can carry it anywhere we had to take it with ourselves so we went to rishikesh and then in a haridwar we tried this demo this is a shadow clay ganpati clay uh, and meanwhile when this projects were happening we used to do a lot of other projects like so it's not that i forgot completely about you and we work so i used to do this you and your kind of thing ha this is this is the favorite code of mine Is written on my Instagram. You must check. This is entrepreneurs celebrate failures. You have to celebrate failures because uh, the famous quote of Albert Einstein, like those who have never failed, never tried. So even though you fail, it's okay. You at least tried for it. And I'm telling you, if you don't give up, you are going to reach the point where where dreams come into reality. So you just have to keep working hard. keep working with your instinct and just keep doing whatever you are doing 
and keep searching for the people those who can help you out with it as i said it it wouldn't be possible without a uh, devrat patil making it happen with me also the first casing was a wooden casing i, I tell you was made by uh, vaibhav and i was so extremely happy even my brother was so extremely supported and these are the final washes which i will come on later but uh, like this is like 10 10 minute story later on but i'll share this uh, i'll talk about this later so i want to ask parag if, if anyone has a question or if anyone wants to interact uh, so that we can talk about this oh uh, do you want students to ask questions right away sure 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 no uh, so if uh, any students want to ask anything any specific thing regarding his startup or uh, regarding the product as well you can ask if, uh, yeah, kuch bhi agar puchna hai to puch sakte ho uh nahi bhi puchna hai to ek to puch hi lo so uh, i'll i'll just explain that um uh, while if you come up with a question you can always ask uh, i'll stop in between so once the version one was ready and you are off with all the marketing strategies and all that thing that we wanted to uh, disseminate in front of people publish as in front of people covid thing happened so we had to get stuck at place and uh, we didn't know what to do right now i mean we couldn't ship uh we couldn't uh, procure motors we couldn't do anything and one more thing that happened is like we started war there was a war started against our neighboring country so there was a anti china sentiment uh, you know rising that moment and we really really uh, agreed upon that term that if we want to go ahead with this we have to make it made in india and so the reason we started one more search and one more design finalization started happening so we contacted even we contacted a uh, uh, uk germany people for the motors and uh, so that we can get the best part or the best uh, motors that we can utilize uh, can fix it in our next year and and we just couldn't get help so for reason we started again searching in our home Yes, in India, we started uh, calling other people who are manufacturing. Uh, we don't have facilities. Uh, we have to agree that we don't have a great facilities, but we do have possibility. Uh, so we asked a couple of companies to collaborate and make one right motor for us, and a couple of them agreed to do that. And we also shared the vision that we have that we want to make it made in India. We want to make it a, a very less sound and. standing up to a certain standard that we can also ship it worldwide so they, the company came into a rescue and they made in india company finally made a trnv next so trnv next is a completely made in india product and it which has a very less sound and that is what matters the most uh, and it's slightly bigger as well so this is version 2 of trnv and this is version 1 of trnv uh what is significant about version 2 is that it exactly looks like q that as we wanted to and uh, it has a bigger wheel size it also replaced the ms material of a disc to a premium steel material uh, it also has a right backup of 2 to 4 to 5 hours and it is very much soundless so these are all the boxes of uh, this product and this is the finally a tr in unbworks.com made in india we were very very happy to engrave this and we also got a trademark for this tr in the logo and we also applied for the patent uh, i hope that that happens then nothing can really stop us from doing it uh, this is this is very sturdy you know uh, the stu- sturdy products gives you uh, this kind of stunts you don't try and this is a maximum size you can try to create or make out of it uh yeah a tr we also comes coming in uh, we also opted for the colors we worked for colors we wanted to have very uh, 
funky colors. So we opted bright yellow, classic ivory, uh, skylight blue, and um, also uh, earth green and bold black as well. So yeah, this is one of the studios in Nashik, those who are using. Till today, we have shipped our products uh, across India from Lucknow, Delhi, uh, even in Ratlam, even Pune, Nashik, Nagpur. And we are extremely happy with the output that they are taking out. Uh, you can go to our Instagram page and find their work as well in UNV work. And that's all it is all about. Anything that you can ask be great. Uh, Farag, is there any question that you want? Uh, yeah. I have a question. Yeah, yeah. So I think Pawan has a question. Yes, go ahead, Pawan. So, uh, I have known uh, Mayuresh here for the last 15 years, but there is something that really perplexes me about you. Uh, that is, you did law. You're professionally speaking a lawyer. And yeah. you're one of the biggest lawyers I know because you're neck deep into creativity. How did that happen? Uh, I would just say that I accepted law accept kiya tha do cheezo ke wajay se. Ek, to two things. One, time of lecture was very flexible. And if you didn't go to college, it would also work. So <laughs> I used to go for exam. So I have hardly attended 50. 40 or 50 odd lectures in throughout five years of my law college. And uh, in 2011 and 12, I was a joint general secretary of student council where we hosted a festival called Velocity. So it's much like while being in a law college, I used to be in the creative field itself. So that never separated me from a creative field. But how the pottery thing happened is like, I had a personal curiosity about the motor since my childhood. I always used to ask my father, can you get that motor? Can you get that 15 rupees motor so that I can do whatever possible? And seriously, I used to create RCs, I used to create I'm creating all this chota chota cheese. I tried to make plain out of a thermocol and whatever. It's like childhood uh, experiments I did. I also particularly remember that when my brother used to do science project, I used to bunk my uh, classroom and I used to go and sit into the science lab where he is uh, doing his project. And that is what impressed me the most. So uh, that, that was in back of the mind. And while I was alone in 2017 working in the workshop, it just clicked. One more thing also clicked that I didn't mention earlier. When I went to Vipassana for 10 days, I met this guy called Pranav. Pick some model, like which can carry. Do you think that this will work? Yes, definitely it will work. And that was the first, uh, like, oh, and this is the initial stage when when someone said, yes, it can be done. And I just picked it up and kept uh, in my mind while doing this. So that is how it happened. Still, I lack with the voltage, current, and torque thing. I still try to understand how that works. And that's the reason I have a stupidest question to all the vendors and even Devrat and Milan for, Milan for that. Yeah. yeah. Mayuresh, first of all, thank you for uh, the different mode of presentation. Uh, it's kind of a storytelling you have narrated. All your uh, struggle or the process which have gone through uh, making this product. And it's not just a working model. It's a aesthetically appealing model as well. So uh, congratulate on that as well. So uh, I would like to ask what is next? You have already uh, achieved this. So are you working on this prototype of the same, scaling it up or a different product altogether that you are thinking right now? Yes, definitely. We are working on one more uh, two, two odd products. One I can mention definitely. Second one is still in the process. So we are well, while order, people are ordering this product, they are always asked, can you make a bigger one? The biggest challenge right now for the bigger one uh, is that to make it sound good. Uh, there are machines available in the market. We are not trying to compete with them. We are trying to make a gain for ourselves. Uh, if we like it, we will definitely go into put forward into public. So first of all, we are trying to hit that mark that a slightly bigger wheel 
and again uh, our uh, benchmark will be to make it portable uh, given the wheel size it's a bit difficult but we are trying to tackle that uh, we have uh, coordinated with a lot of companies indian companies so that they can help us out with the right motor or right equipment and uh, yes uh, that is that is lined up one more project that we are right now we started working that we try to make a lathe machine lathe machine is really crucial it says mother of all machine i feel and lathe machine particularly introduced to me by pavan itself uh, and lathe machine is the super machine i really 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 want to try that out uh, but and we are trying to make that but it's in the pipeline um, I, we get some kind of successful clues or we could tackle some of the obstacles that we are facing right now yes uh, meanwhile if any other questions is there we can uh, take those or any comment if someone wants to add even the people don't ask this question i just want to uh, put out one thing uh, reading books help so dream with your eyes open by rani skuwala is is really a really amazing book it's, it talks about the failure that rani skuwala faced you must be knowing rani skuwala he is the founder of utv and hangama and also new mumbai is his team i guess just try to read that book it's very nice and um, also a confession of a creative mind by biston co-founder of twitter it's good uh, steve job biography amazing amazing book so just just try to read one more book from devdatt patnaik is a uh, very indian approach to business management uh, one thing i surely want to mention for anyone ask this question is that don't aim for a monetary gains out of whatever invention or whatever you are doing right now because don't make it a sole aim i i won't say don't keep it a aim but don't make it a sole aim because uh, when you pump in lot of money you will start thinking when i will recover those don't think like that be ready to fail uh, be ready to tackle and be ready to waste some of the money because it is not going to happen without it and don't aim solely for money eventually it will happen the break even happens if you make the great product break even is going to happen we were sold out in the first month itself and we are like doing really good with this machine right now and we are trying to make it really nice and approach more people and that's that's what i would suggest i would say because india mein suggestion bahut freely milta hai to maine ek free suggestion de diya thank you uh, thank you mayuresh i think uh, uh, thank you for also uh, accepting our invitation in short period of time as well so now i think if uh, there are no further questions then i think uh, we can uh, go ahead with the uh, further program so now uh, i would like to invite uh, prof dr firoz khan uh, to uh, give vote of thanks uh, over to you sir assalam alaikum and good evening okay see i dr firoz khan would like to present vote of thanks for this session today's session on my story motivational session by successful innovators was organized with an objective to motivate our students and faculty to become innovators we are very much thankful to our president dr jahir kazi chairman burhan harris sir and director dr abdul rajak khanutagi sir for their for providing full support to organize such events i thank our resource person mr mayuresh lotlikar for sharing his valuable knowledge and experience with us i also thank professor prag raul sir coordinator for this session and also other iic members and ii uh, dc members for their support i thank all participants for their curious response by participating in this online session i conclude my vote of thank by providing tribute to almighty allah for his blessing to our campus thank you all okay thank you everyone i think we can conclude this session now thank you mayuresh once again
Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. It was a great pleasure.